right. Fernanda says, what is the ideal LDL? Ideal LDL depends on whether or not you have been diagnosed with heart disease. If you have not, a lifetime LDL, well, actually a lifetime LDL under 100 um, uh, uh, should protect you from heart disease. However, if you didn't figure this out until middle age and your, uh, and your LDL is uh, uh, too high and you're trying to get it down to prevent heart disease, then 70 would be the target. If you already have heart disease, um, uh, then the target uh, draw in terms of secondary prevention to prevent the second heart attack drops down to like 30 to 50 or basically as low as possible. So wait a second, could there be a harm of having cholesterol too low? We didn't know until PCSK9 inhibitors came out. Uh, we have these new biologic injectable drugs which can drop people's cholesterol, LDL cholesterol into the single digits. And... Um, Still not seeing any problems with uh, hormone manufacture like testosterone, estrogen, or um, uh, um, any other uh, issues that have piled on. Uh, so only benefit as you go lower and lower, um, but we don't, uh, most people should not need drugs to get their LDL down. They just need to cut out or cut down on the three things that increase one's cholesterol, and that is saturated fat found mostly in um, animal fats and junk trans fats found almost exclusively now in animal fat. Now that's been removed from the food supply um, from uh, partially hydrogenated oils. And third is dietary cholesterol found predominantly in eggs, but throughout the animal kingdom. Just do all that. Your cholesterol should drop right down. Add in a whole bunch of high fiber um, uh, plant foods, which is say whole plant foods. Um, and you can push your cholesterol down even further. Um, I have an LP little a. Um, uh, video up. I'm trying to think if I have another one coming up. Um, I was just looking at that for the book. Um, uh, but uh, but I go through exactly where we should uh, have a target LP little and what we can do about it. Um, uh, yes, in addition to eating healthy, there are a few foods, particularly that may lower LP little a further. And I think those are um, black cumin seed and. Um, flax seeds, but check the video to find out. Okay. Jesse has natural low um, HDL with a whole food plant-based diet, LDL and triglycerides plummeted. Fantastic. But um, that talks about a triglyceride HDL ratio. What's important uh, number to track? LDL is the important number to track. We used to think HDL, so-called good cholesterol, was good and actually had benefits in terms of, re of reducing disease risk. It turns out that is not the case. Uh, based on a whole range of evidence, um, including drugs that um, that raise HDL, which actually had to be stopped early because it was killing people, and probably most importantly, these so-called Mendelian randomization studies, where people who just genetically at birth born um, with genes that give them uh, kind of unnaturally elevated HDL throughout their entire lives, regardless of what they eat or how they live, um, do not actually have lower cardiovascular disease. However, those born with high LDL die early because, from cardiovascular disease. And those born with low LDL are protected from uh, heart disease regardless of what they eat, um, proving that, uh, uh, effectively proving, of course, we can actually, there's actually real proving, proving in terms of randomized controlled trials, but um, it's the best um, in terms you can get for observational data, um, which um, show the LDL is actually a, um, uh, a risk factor, not just a, a correlate. So for example, you know, uh, I do a video talking about H this HDL thing. It's one of my egg videos where um, uh, something like, um, you know, having lots of, uh, what, a gym, uh, what was it, tennis shoes in your house associated with better health. Um, but, uh, but that's not because gym shoes actually help your health directly. It's just a proxy for um, something like exercise, which actually does help your health. So, uh, you know, those people that um, who carry around cigarette lighters probably live shortened lives, but not because they're carrying around cigarette lighters. It's not a, uh, a cause and effect, a causal risk factor. Um, it's, uh, um, and similarly, HDL is not a causal um, protective factor for heart disease. So don't worry about your HDL. Worry about your LDL. And it's wonderful that they're down. And uh, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Okay, Francis says, what is mainstream re what is the main reason why one's A1C fluctuates from high to low and high to low? 
That is well a oh B12 supplement help with diabetic neuropathy. Okay, for those of you who are like, what is an A1C? Um, it is a measure of kind of long-term blood sugar control over the last few months or so, um, but really uh, biased towards kind of more recent events. And so the main reason is people are um, eating different foods. And um, although women uh, can get hormonal changes throughout the month, um, that even if they're eating the same thing, they can have different blood sugar responses. So that could be one reason. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're sick, uh, you know, you, you have really high blood pressures, um, uh, even if you're kind of eating healthy. But typically, um, we tend to think of HbA1c uh, as um, in terms of diabetic control and how well uh, medications are working. Um, and for prediabetes or uh, in general, um, it's uh, typically uh, um, what's happening with a diet. Uh, primarily the glycemic load of different foods. And so I encourage people to cut out uh, uh, refined grains um, and things that uh, cause too high of a blood sugar spike. Okay, Santanu says, with plant-based diet, reduce sugar substantially. I want to know, how do I reduce insulin resistance? Great, current uh, fasting insulin is uh, 16, looking to reduce it. Uh, HDL has gone down. We don't worry about HDL because it's not a causal risk factor for heart disease. Um, but if you want to reduce um, your um, insulin resistance, um, you uh, decrease the cause of insulin resistance, which is excess saturated fat intake in the context of a hypercaloric diet. Um, uh, or excess visceral adiposity, if, you, um, if your waist uh, measured at your belly button, is more than half your height, you need to lose weight to reduce that visceral fat and decrease insulin resistance regardless of what you eat. Okay, BLK says, type 2 diabetic. Oh, but eating healthy, wonderful. Not on meds, fantastic. Oh, but can't get uh, glucose under control. Um, and so uh, one of the reasons may be you're still, uh, you're suffering insulin resistance from excess visceral fat. Um, so if you have excess abdominal fat, um, it can spill fat in your bloodstream. And so even if you don't have um, it going into your mouth, you still have these high levels of fat in your blood, and when that um, interferes with um, insulin responsiveness in your muscles and liver, um, and that's what causes um, type 2 diabetes, especially when it offloads fat to your poor pancreas and can destroy some of your insulin-producing cells. Um, and so uh, weight loss um, uh, would be um, the next step. And if your glucose is not under control, you should. Um, indeed, um, uh, talk to your doctors about being on meds until um, um, something like metformin until uh, you can get it under control with diet, though it may take weight loss to um, uh, drop your visceral fat to levels um, uh, that uh, you're, uh, uh, where uh, your insulin resistance drops enough that you can reverse your diabetes.